Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours. So January 28th until the 30th um, and what energy may be surrounding you. So let's start shuffling. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more of my readings. Um, also, if you are new here and you would like to book a session with me, that information will also be listed in the description box. All right, Scorpios for the next 72 hours. January 28th through the 30th. What's going on, my Scorpios? So we have the Ace of Swords is the overall energy. Your current energy is the Eight of Pentacles. The challenge is the Five of Swords. Advice from your Spirit Guides is the World card. And then the outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. Scorpios. January 28th through the 30th. We have prosperity lies ahead, and we also have don't let your past hold you back. So let's get into this, Scorpios. Um, so with the, the Ace of Swords representing the overall energy, this is clarity. Um, this time frame is going to be all about understandings. You guys also making sense of things. I feel like also there's going to be just a aha moment that comes through where things just start to kind of make more sense to you in terms of like the way somebody's been acting towards you or um, like what's the best plan of action in terms of like an idea. I also feel like speaking of ideas, I feel like during this time frame, if you are somebody who's like more creative, um, and you're like trying to pursue something that may not be like a traditional career. There may be a specific idea that just randomly comes up and you feel like it's a really, really good idea that you want to invest into. Um, and with this idea, what I will want to, what I do want to say, excuse me, advice that I want to give you is to take your time with, with this idea, especially if it is Something that's intricate and requires a lot of uh, details to be um, executed. But nonetheless, this is a really good time frame for clarity and also brainstorming and also releasing a lot of things as well. This is like you having a clear indication of what's stopping you from getting to where you need to be. And this is you finally like cutting the ties there so that you can do what you need to do. Now, when it comes to what I see for your current energy, I do have the eight of pentacles. So this is working. This is like busting your behind to make money so that you can either fund certain things or so you could just pay your bills. Um, a lot of you are just going to be pouring a lot of your energy into work. And some of you, you could be pouring your energy into work because this could just be literally the only thing you have going on in life. You may not have like a love life that's super, super active. So work may be just like your, your way to distract yourself in a sense. Um, also with this eight of pentacles, if you are in a relationship, this is also you guys trying to work on it. Um, you may be realizing that there's just certain things about the relationship that over time just may not be the same and it may be requiring some work. Now, what I see in terms of the challenge, I do have the five of swords. Um, so the challenge may be like some verbal disputes. So you and your person could be arguing it could, and it could get really nasty. Um, this is also like you guys either like self-sabotaging. So this could be like having thoughts that are just literally negative as hell and they're not real, but. Some of you guys could be believing that they're real. And then this could be like you doing things to self-sabotage yourself, like procrastinating, um, staying in bad situations, doing things that don't make sense. Like it's like almost like asking for a job. Right. 
And then say, for instance, you get a job that comes through and you don't show up to like the, what is it called? You don't show up to the interview or something. And then it's like you self-sabotage because you may have wanted that opportunity for a while now, but you like second guess yourself, thought that you weren't going to get it. And then in turn, you really didn't get it because you second guess yourself. So some of you need to be careful of that energy and also stay away from anybody who is just like verbally abusive. Okay, some of you guys may get into a really bad verbal argument with really it could be anybody, family member, lover, whoever. But the advice from your spirit guides, I do have the world card. Um, So this is learning your lesson from the last cycle of bad stuff that you may have been going through. Understand that there were lessons that you were supposed to learn and there was a lesson in what you were experiencing. And for a lot of you, what you were experiencing was a level of self-sabotage, doing things because mentally you may have not been able to fathom yourself being further. And that's the problem. And also with cycles that have closed, you need to let them cycles be closed and let that be because for a lot of you, it's like you allow yourself to think about X's that did you wrong or why this didn't happen like this and all that stuff when you can only focus on the now. And I have the Ace of Pentacles as the outcome. So this is you guys either securing a new job, um, either you guys getting into like a new relationship or a relationship in general where it's like official, like it, it's actually a relationship, not like a friends with benefits situation. Um, Ace of Pentacles, this is you guys either getting paid during this time frame or having to pay some money out. Yeah. But nonetheless, I see a lot of stability ahead and financial reward and that leads me into this next card we do have prosperity lies ahead so as i said i see financial security i see you guys working diligently to get to the money um and this is going to give you that security that you're looking for so so keep putting in that work and i also see don't let the past hold you back so again some of you guys you let in old cycles of energy Old karmic cycles stop you from being happy in the now. And I always tell you guys, be careful of that because you're just going to create misery for yourself over and over and over again if you keep living in the time that was. Imagine if everybody just lived in one time frame, their whole life, and they let that dictate their whole entire life. You would be miserable. So stop letting your past hold you back. Your past is not your future unless you manifest it that way. So this is what I see. I really hope that you were able to take whatever you needed from this reading. If you did, thumbs up this video and make sure you subscribe. If you do want a personal, check out the description box. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one.